Hi everybody, MegabitGamer here with another tutorial on how to do pathway lighting that actually goes on and off with a switch. Okay, what I've set up here is the switch, a little on off here, so you just hit one button. Let me keep it above ground so we can see what's going on here. But you can seek this in the ground, recommend about five deep, and then run the switch up to wherever you need. We're going to put a torch on each side, so you got two pistons. Now, what happens here is the block itself is what makes the actual connection. Uh, let's see here. I could run it on the other side, be less of a hassle. Um, you know what? I just thought about something. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Okay. Um, normally, you run a line out from it. And then we'll put a button there. And we actually need a block. The block should have went in before the torches. So let's just break one of those. And we're going to insert a block in there. Now we'll put the torch back in. There we go. Now note, this is shot on PC, but this has been built the exact same on Xbox 360. Minus the fact that I think I just screwed up and put this on the wrong side, because we want to be able to see it as it works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's just pop up a button on there. Buttons are good. Okay, and we got our switch there. Now you can run that line anywhere you want. Just make sure it doesn't cross over this line. And make sure the torch is in the bottom, not on the sidewalls, because the sidewalls will power the blocks around it and screw up that circuit. Okay, flip on, flip off. Once again, that circuit is great for any time you want to build. Uh, doors and stuff because you can run the switch line to both sides and turn it on and off and not have to worry about one switch being on one switch being off doesn't matter which side you hit the button on boom it to it flips that toggle there okay so what we're going to do is build a mock of what we had to do here this is just a real simple version gotta love creative mode for these things Okay, let's find us some glowstone. Yeah, we worked so hard to get that. We just dragged our mouse. And <laughs> Has anybody else noticed how much less fun it is when there's too much creative use? Just the adventure of finding all the crap. Okay, and there we go. Okay, we got our glowstone on top of a sticky piston with sand, or gravel in this case. Or you could use sand, doesn't matter. Your choice. So we're going to block off the light from it. There we go light blocked. And we're just going to hit the switch here. And this will be a representation of what should happen. So just so you can see it without the gravel and with a sticky piston grabbing it, pulling it up and down. Of course we want to cover it though because we don't want it to be lit up at all times, only when we want it. You can use these as security lights too. It's kind of a cool idea. And see, then it caps it back off because the sand or gravel will fall back down and cap it back off. So, what are we going to do here with this? Have okay, these lines out, have everything kind of paint. Okay, let's go and hide them. Um, as you know, pathways, always great. Uh, you can also use this as security lighting. But in this case, we're going to break that up a little bit. And let's go ahead and build our pathway. And we're going to want to it off the ground, so we're going to dig it too deep. And drop it down in there a little bit, so uh, that our glowstones are level with the ground because obviously you want the glowstones level with the ground so when they retract they're in the ground so what we got here glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. and we're going to dig it down there we go and you want to be at least one away so you can run your lead lines to your different uh, pistons Dig one out of each of these and fix that back there. I think I took two out. Okay, there we go. Yep, need to fix it. Uh, just use some gravel. We're not going for pretty, we're going for function right now. Okay, actually, I'm going to show you something else here. Uh, this is a good point, especially if you're running long lines between them. Right after one piston, between long lines, just run your line all the way down 
and then say if we did another run right after the piston we would put another another uh, repeater we're basically using that circuit as a repeater to keep the power going which is pretty great especially when you're running like long lines of these okay and that's what we got right there okay so now we just gotta get some wire grab the redstone there we go now let's run the rest of these here okay now if you get kind of bored with this just stick with me here for a second because the design itself is kind of a cool layout and gives you some ideas and just kind of love that I think that uh, once you've seen it set up it looks kind of cool there we go okay function check good okay now let's cover this crap up okay let's grab us some gravel See, perfect night timing. Did this right before night time. Okay, still got a little bit of light leaking out. Remember what I said about the slabs? Oh, thank goodness we have creative mode. Because this is going to be fun. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and show you what it looked like with both sides. There we go. Might as well. I mean, come on. Give you the full uh, nickel tour here. There we go. Okay, let's grab some slabs. Oh, we've worked so hard to get these slabs. Uh, two pieces of stone. <laughs> oh, wait. We just used our mouse again. Uh, creative. It is great, and it is also fun to be able to do your ideas without a lot of gathering. But, you know, sometimes that's half the fun of it. spitting out rainbows when you find a nice item that you need for a little while. Okay. Holy ass ponies. This is kind of annoying to place these things. I might even suggest like <laughs> placing these and going underneath in the little pathway down there and laying your crap after you place them. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. oh great. Look at the right. Epic fail! Everybody makes mistakes. Especially when you're following a tutorial. All the pausing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> People sit there like, I have to pause so much. Okay, it's operational. So what you got here is you got your pathway. And you don't have to put your switch right there. You can put it anywhere you want in your villages or towns. Um, you can put this lighting like anywhere sparsely on, on top of like buildings, wherever you want, wherever you can run a redstone wire, you can run this kind of lighting, which is actually kind of cool, because you can put it inside a house. And when I say you can put it inside a house, what you do is you basically just make a little one block by two block high indention in the wall, and you place it in that indention, and what happens is you hit the switch, and the sand goes up, and so does the glowstone, and your lights come on. Which, that's pretty awesome, huh? Not to just have something that kind of works, but actually works as an on-off. So, let's see here. Uh, sand. I said it worked with sand. Works in the Xbox with sand. Again, this is shot on PC, not on Xbox. But it works on Xbox, because I have built this on Xbox. Uh, around one of those little villages of the little weird people. But, once again, thanks. Please subscribe. As always.